guess I'm the third amoeba. Um, I'm Dave Choksi. I'm a primary care doctor. Uh, and I'm just honored to be on the panel, particularly looking forward to the discussion. Um, and I, I'll just begin maybe with a handful of my organizing principles, and um, maybe I can squeeze an additional point into the four minutes. Uh, so my, my starting point in terms of a shared social contract is really thinking about health professions as a service profession. Uh, and so um, emanating from that, a shared social contract um, is about being held accountable both to the patients and to the communities that we serve. And so just unpacking that a little bit, being held accountable to the patients that we serve, um, I think means integrating patients' values into our um, clinical processes. Uh, as a doctor, for me, that usually means integrating um, patients' values into clinical decision-making. For example, whether or not I should order a PSA test or some other diagnostic test for a patient. Um, in terms of being held accountable to the communities that we serve, I think the key concept there, as many people have talked about already, is transparency. And transparency um, along uh, a couple of domains. Um, I think the, the first is with respect to governance. Uh, so an example here would be a community board affiliated with the community health center. Um, maybe more controversial is the second domain, um, transparency with respect to quality. Um, so the measures that we use uh, to gauge our own success um, should perhaps be uh, open, available, and discussed uh, with the people who we purport to hold ourselves accountable to. Um, so my perspective, again, is as a primary care doctor. Um, I, I just want to say a word about primary care as uh, uh, an area that is particularly relevant to the discussion that we're having today. The reason that I believe that is that it sits at the nexus between the community and the healthcare system or between medicine and public health. Uh, and so I really see it as this fundamental crucible, not just for a discussion of ideas as we're having today, um, but also the operational reality of, uh, of, of trying to deliver on a shared social contract. Um, the, the final point that I would just make is, is maybe a note of caution. Um, and that's with respect to transdisciplinary collaboration um, and how maybe sometimes it can actually come into conflict with another value that many of us share, which is patient-centeredness. I just want to tell a brief story um, from my medical residency days. Um, I was a senior medical resident at, let's say, a distinguished hospital in Boston um, where, uh, where we, we had uh, what I thought was a great idea, something called the um, integrated teaching unit where um, it was really an experiment uh, for doctors, nurses, pharmacists, physical therapists, et cetera, um, to all take joint care of um, uh, the patients who were on a medical ward. Uh, so as a senior medical resident on the team, I was responsible not just for the patient care, but actually um, corralling this team on rounds every morning. And so on a particularly busy morning, um, whereas our usual habit was to go to the bedside for, um, for each patient, or at least as many patients as we could, um, I decided that hurting this, this group of uh, a dozen team members, each of whom had to wash their hands, you know, file into the room, I would have to introduce all of the team members, we'd file out, wash our hands again, um, get back together and actually discuss the patient's case. I said, you know what, I'm going to make a decision um, to be more efficient this morning. And we ended rounds on time that day, uh, and we didn't see a single patient. Uh, we did all of our discussion of the patients uh, outside of their rooms. It wasn't until later that day, of course, that I realized that, um, that I had sacrificed something very fundamental uh, in uh, this pursuit of transdisciplinary collaboration. We had spirited discussions about physical therapy plans and nutrition plans for each of our patients, but we, we didn't keep the patient front and center during those discussions. Um, so I think that could be a, a larger metaphor for uh, some, of the, um, some of the topics that we're uh, discussing today. Uh, and so I think hearkening back to the idea of a shared social contract as something where um, we keep accountability to people and to the communities that we serve um, kind of foremost in our mind. Thanks a lot.